Hello, this is Justin with EV Parts Online. Today we're going to be talking about one of our exclusive products. This is a, a license plate grommet repair kit for the rear of your Tesla Model 3 or Tesla Model Y. Let me just give you a quick demonstration of what this is here. Uh, it's a known fact or a known problem that the, the Tesla 3 and the Y for the rear license plate, these uh, little grommets that are originally in your car are not very good. They're known for twisting, stripping. So what we've came up with is this uh, repair kit. Um, basically, it's made a half millimeter larger than the original grommet. So they fit pretty tight, better quality. They won't strip or won't turn. Um, you know, In the kit here, if you can see it, you're gonna get four grommets. We give you the original style Tesla screw, which is important because this screw here is uh, kind of small and that's what Tesla uses. And one of the common problems is, is people will take like a regular big screw and they'll strip this grommet out, you know, causing it to twist. Um, just doesn't work. So we're gonna go put this in. So let's go get started. Okay, we're out here at our Tesla Model 3, um, and we went ahead and removed our original license plate bracket, uh, if you can see here, but these are the grommets we're gonna replace. Uh, some of these cars came with two grommets, and some of them came with four grommets. Um, in the kit here, if you can see this here, uh, we give you four grommets, which are better than the factory OE, the original style license plate stainless steel screws, which I think are a six millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and pop these things out. The problem with one with this one here is uh, someone put the wrong screw in and it just kind of went in and re-threaded it. So you can't really get the screw in and it just turns. This one here is okay, but we're gonna just go ahead and replace them both. Uh, pretty simple on taking them out. Um, if you've got a problem with this thing just turning and you can't get the screw out, which is a common problem, um, a trick on getting these things out is if you just get a flathead screwdriver and just put it underneath um, the head of the screw and then get your other screwdriver and just kind of pull back with force and just kind of pull it and that will just give it enough to pull it out. If that doesn't work, you can always grab a pair of pliers, see if you can clamp the head and just kind of give it a pull and just turn, but eventually it will come out. But you know, these things will twist and turn um, and they cause the bracket to wiggle and then they rattle on the car all kinds of issues but let's go ahead and get this out uh, easiest way to remove these things and just take the original screw that holds this bracket on which i believe is a like a t20 so you just want to just thread it in here just just a little bit just to kind of grab it and just give it a pull as you can see the original one is just a tiny little fragile and these things are known for breaking um, real easy to remove so we're gonna go ahead and take these out and the original ones come with these little o-rings we don't give you the o-rings and they're not really necessary but if you can reuse them go ahead and reuse them so let's go ahead and take this off here okay so we got a ring off here off the original this is the stripped one these are the replacement nylon nuts and like I mentioned earlier these are actually like a half millimeter larger so they're going to be a little tighter and they're going to go in they're going to last a lot longer and they're not going to twist and turn eventually you know down the road so we'll just put our gasket on simply just bind it up square hole just give it a little push boom you're done so we're going to do the same thing on this one this one here I don't think is messed up, but we're going to go ahead and take it out and replace it anyway. just want to just get it started on here. Pull it out. Well, this ring looks pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and reuse this O-ring that's on this original one. And again, if, you know, if these O-rings are missing or if they're bad, it's not really that important to reuse them. And we give you four of these grommets too. so. If you're only using two, you just use two out of the kit. And if you've got other holes here, just use the other two grommets and just replace them all. So I'm just gonna put this on here. Line it up, just give it a push. You can see those push in a lot harder, it won't turn. And also in the kit, we give you a threading screw. This just kind of threads the screw to help us get it started so you can mount your rear license plate frame. So what you wanna do is just just give it a couple turns. You don't have to turn it in all the way, just to kind of get it started. We'll do the same thing on the other side. I should probably 
we do it. Okay, so we've got those threaded. So we want to, we're going to put back our original license plate frame. Um, if you don't have one of these license plate frames, it's probably recommended to get them because they originally came with them. I see a lot of cars, they'll have them just mounted, you know, your, your license plate directly to the paint. You can do that, but getting one of these is, um, I would say not a must, but it's just a lot easier to mount your license plate and it looks a lot better. And we have these available on our website. So if you don't have one, check out our website and we can hook you up with one of these. So what we want to do is we want to just take these original screws. Here it is. And you just want to line it up on the hole there just to kind of get it started and, and we threaded it so it's going to go in a lot easier. Oh, and these are a T20, I believe it's a T20. So I'll we'll go ahead and just give that a little turn to get it started, and we'll go ahead and start the other side. Right. These fit a lot better and a lot nice and tight. See, it's pretty easy to do this install. Okay, so this is solid. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to last basically forever. Um, in the kit, we give you stainless steel screws. And the thing about the Teslas, like I mentioned earlier, is they're smaller. So you don't want to take anything that's bigger. You want to use the correct screws. And if you happen to use a, a license plate frame, we do have the extended length license plate screws. Um, the stock are a six millimeter and I think our extended are a 10 millimeter. So they're just a little bit longer so you can mount your frame on. Bring out these mount. Yeah, these fit perfect. So when you put your plate on, just line this up. tighten it and you're done good as gold thanks for watching please check out our website at www.evpartsonline.com thank you